ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth, but we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity, until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to, or welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. This will be the, what, third, maybe fourth time I attempt to this? I, when this game first hit early access, I 100%ed everything that was available. And then ever since, I've just been kind of dancing around the idea of, you know, continuing it as a series. Um, but there's the, uh, oh shoot, what's it even called? What's the DLC? It's the, uh, Color of Madness DLC. Just came out today, so I figured, let's give it a go. Let's, let's see if we can jump into Darkest Dungeon. I've got mods. Uh, we're not going to be playing this DLC. This is from my previous run from a couple months ago. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I mean, it's there. There's, there's footage of it, but I'd like to, uh, uh I'd like to start fresh. Let's see, so these are all the DLCs we're going to have. Let's see, is this your first estate? Crimson Court increases the complexity. Uh, let's see. that That's fine. Okay, and I'm going to be keeping it on Radiant mode. Uh, let's see, faster, more forgiving than normal. I know a lot of people, you know, play this for, like, ultra uh, competitive, or not competitive mode, like ultra hardcore, no upgrade runs, like a bunch of different things. I personally just want to see what's at the end of this game, because I've never actually been to the Darkest Dungeon itself, and also I'd like to see what's at the end of the Crimson Court and the Meteor thing, too. So, Radiant. Now let's check what mods I have installed. Uh, let's see, can I rename it? Uh, we might have to... Well, I goofed. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. All right, so I more or less know how to play already, so let's just, uh, progress Brigands on. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. 
Ideally, I would like to keep Dispatch these two alive. This thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. If I can keep these guys alive, I will be quite happy. Unfortunately, no guarantees that it's going to happen. My my luck with uh with keeping party members around it always kind of sucks. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't. If pay only it. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Let's see. Embark warnings. Leave I nothing want... unchecked. Oh. There is much to be found in forgotten places. Huh. I can increase the frequency of town events. That's kind of cool. Wait, what? Monsters leaves corpses, combat delay penalties, morality debuffs, combat retreats can fail, standard enemy crits. I didn't realize I could turn those off. That's cool. Under graphics? No. Oh, there it is. Tutorials. Yeah, let's turn those off. Unless there's some really new mechanics, I more or less know how to play. Let's see, did Wander get the inventory An mod? Yep. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Okay, so we've got pistol shot. We can go for the guy in the back. It's not a bad idea. The brigand blood letter kind of takes a little while. We do have tracking shot. It does damage. It doesn't seem to do anything else. Maybe it has a secondary effect later. But I could do grape shot blast, hit the... Th all three of them half damage debuffs them let's do grape shot okay now, i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to heat the Such friggin a terrible assault letter cannot Ooh. be left unanswered let's see stun blow no we could stun the blood letter though let's start with that okay Keep doing the grape shots. I'd like to kill the fusilier. I probably should just shoot the fusilier now that I'm thinking about it. Instead, well, it's life. Go for this guy. He takes so many hits to kill. Okay, so we have pistol shot. Yeah, let's take out the brigand fusilier before onslaught. he keeps hitting me. Destroy them all. Tracking shot should have a stealth bypass, so maybe that mod shifted things around. Oh, you know the mod hasn't been um the mod hasn't been updated recently. So I think we're gonna have to go turn off a lot of my rebalance mods, at least for a little while. I might uh look into redoing it myself. If anybody wants to help me with that, I think it's just messing with like a, a character config file, nothing fancy. Cause some of those rebalance like effects the were actually bigger, really, the really good. The greater the glory. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That is my favorite line. Okay, something doesn't look quite right with this one. Let's have him open up. It's trapped. He gets blighted, but nothing else. And now we're done. Quest complete. Let's get out of here. Okay, so what kind of weird problems have they just picked up? Tough and precise striker. All right, that's a good that's a good feeling. There's also something about these two characters that you want to keep them around Welcome for home, reason. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Okay, so we have a one hell of a boss list to go after. All right, that'll take a while. Also, uh, let's see, I think... I have a mod that's supposed to add like a whole new location here. But, uh, it's not the sanitarium. We'll figure it, oh, it might just be uh, one of the ones that I can make with the blueprint tool, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it's probably a district. Okay, there's an achievement if you finish the final mission with them alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the last time I I did this, Reynald just died on the first round. 
I should probably record this. So apparently, because it bugged out earlier, and the stagecoach was messed up, uh, having that happen to me more or less just sunk the run before it even happened. Which is just rough, but this does give us another chance with, uh, things. Uh, we just gotta- Okay, let's try this again. Women now, and there men, we go. Soldiers and outlaws. Fools and corpses. Now we actually have a full team. So the, the wagon works. That one mod is broken, but whatever. I can fix that up as we go along. So we don't want... We want unlimited inventory stacking, because that's really good. And more or less turn everything else back on that I had on. I might unsub from some of the particularly broken mods, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, with a lot of these. A number of them, specifically anything from Marvin and Co. Has already been updated, so that's that's kind of a good sign. There's a couple I can turn off, like the Cataphract I don't need, the Raven Fiend is just a reskin, uh, Slave Knight Gale. But like most of these, I think are going to not interfere. And if they do interfere, then uh, off they go, and uh, we'll just keep going. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. So back here, and this time it's actually say uh, we've actually done like the. the tutorial. It'd be nice if you could actually skip the tutorial after like X number of times. I think it makes you do it every My single time. My obsession caused okay. this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Alright, so this time around, we're going into the warrants. In warns. time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Ah, quit your whining, Dad. Maybe Most not, will end Dad. up here, covered okay. in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Huh. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. He really is chatty. I don't remember him being this chatty. Okay. Let's see, don't forget the shovel. I've got two. I've got... I think everything that I could possibly need for this one. It would be tempting to bring another key. Uh, but I think I'm gonna make enough cash. Crashed again? Really? I wonder what's doing it. Ah, uh, okay, fine. I think I'll just, uh, turn on the mods that, like, we actually need. Or we're actually interested in. And then we'll go from there. I don't even know. Because we had it working earlier with... Let... With more mod. I don't get it. Oh, this is what I get for trying to do a modded run on a new DLC. It always fails. I'm just gonna buy all the food. I know I know it's kind of pointless and, and bad for me to do so. Uh, maybe? I don't actually know if it's pointless or bad. Buy one of each of those, at least for now. I think this is a good lineup. Pray it doesn't crash on me this time. I think I think that's I've made it further than this, yeah? Or is this... That's a good sign. Yeah, okay, so it was the it was the inventory rebalance mod that was crashing the game. Hit 12 torches. I think 10 should be fine for this, but yeah. I guess, realistically, once we have, uh... Once we have enough... I can actually change his, uh, visuals. Oh. Perfect. So we actually have a bunch of different outfits he can wear. So we can make him look like a Faram Knight. Huh. I thought I had a Crusader skin on, but I guess that's busted. We're just going to make him look like a Faram Knight, because that's cooler. I might turn off the alternate palettes, honestly. Okay, and we'll do Bloodborne. I think I'm just gonna put alternate skins on every single one of my characters, at least for now. Alright. Because the alternate skins just look really cool. At least in my opinion. I don't remember about the Witch Doctor. <laughs> oh, Witch Doctor doesn't have one. Okay, let's just go until we find a skin, skin that I like. I like that one. That one looks nice. Okay, hold shift while getting supplies, you can grab a full stack of them. Awesome! Okay, uh, let's... 
Yeah, I don't remember if I can do the old combo. Oh, uh, let's see. Yep, tracking shot is a thing now, so we have emboldening vapors. Oh, we can't do plague grenade from here. I guess we'll just use it on him for for now. Welcome to the darkest souls. Hell yeah! Speaking of, actually, I got a there's a, a strategy art roguelike ish that's coming out in the fall that I got access to. That I believe will actually have um, combat super similar to this. Another abomination. But it looks kind of dark souls too. I don't know. It'll be interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. They actually sent me a key, so I, I could conceivably take a look at it uh, sometime this week. Probably not today, I'm kind of... Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. I'm kind of sleepy. We'll see how it goes, though. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's getting dark. I should fix that. Okay, it's less dark. So we have Judgment. Heal Self. Otherwise, we could just do Divine Comfort. Yeah, let's aim for the, uh, the Acolyte Lady. Oh! I forgot Vestals can actually do some damage here. Let's see, do we want Blinding Gas? Blinding Gas. Let's see if we can stun her. There we go. Can you tell I don't particularly like the, uh, the Cultist Acolyte Ladies? They are, uh, Confidence obnoxious. The enemy wow. Okay, well this makes life easier for me. <laughs> let's see, put the healer in the back. Yeah, I should. Uh, let's see. We might as well preemptively switch. Nope, that kind of could have gone better. Oof. That is press this advantage. That is some stress. Give them no quarter. Oh yeah, we can rename these characters. Okay, yeah, we'll have to check moves. And yeah, I think between sessions, I might see if I can rebalance this. If if my old uh, if my old rebalance mods don't work, then I'll just do it myself. Shouldn't even take that much effort either. If only okay. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put Reynold back on the um, uh, put Reynold on the back burner. Kleptomania is not exactly something I, I like. Oh, hey, we have incision. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Do we start with the incision? You do damage. Bunch of bleed. Or I could stun her. Oh. Yeah, let's go for the blinding gas. Let's stun her. See if I can kill her first. Okay, grape shot, grape shot. It's not much damage. But I think between that and Zell's accusation, nope, damage is just spread all around. Okay, judgment. Let's kill the Bone Soldier As the fiend before falls, it can hit me. A faint hope blossoms. Run for the old gods. Ow. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Come on. He just had his turn. I really wish this game had one of those where you could actually see, like, the turn order. Um on, like, the right or something. Uh, that's... You play grenade. Might not be a good idea. Uh, yeah. I'm not sold on that one. Real helpful. Judgment. Their Keep just hitting her. Broken. Perfect. Maintain the offensive. Uh, let's see. But yeah, if you could actually see the exact turn order on who's gonna go next... Because I don't think there's an option for that. It'll tell you if you have turns remaining. But there's never... The onslaught. There's never anything that's specifically all. like... Uh, interesting. There's question marks below my... Things. I wonder why. Okay. Uh, just go this way. I've got... I've got ways of dealing with traps. Switch back to this. There's probably a mob like that. Yeah, maybe. If there is, that'd be lovely. Mind I'll, I'll have to look at that. The exception, and not the rule. 
Yeah, turn timer is needed. It's not necessarily neater, needed, but I find I tend to appreciate it more. Because uh, it kind of lets me time my actions, maybe? That might not exactly be the the perfect wording, but it's... I don't know, I just like it because it lets me kind of set what I want to do. It's like, okay, this character's going to act then, so I want to preempt and take them out. As it stands, I guess I'm flying blind and I don't appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Bone Arbalist in the back. Ow. Okay, uh, we should probably work on healing him. If you guys, uh, want to go looking for mods specifically to send my way, I absolutely will, uh, I will, ugh, come on, I will absolutely add, uh, cool looking mods to the list, as long as they kind of make sense. Let's just do incision, probably. So we could do grape shot, no, we should do pistol shot, see if I can kill this guy. Really? Ah, uh, I gotta do judgment, we gotta take him out before... Cause he hurts. The mods are the best. Mods are the best. Like after after Fallout and pretty much every Bethesda game, I've just been like hundred percent on the whole uh, mod front. Okay, tracking shot bypasses stealth, de stealth. Okay. You can't pass a turn. I guess we'll just shoot the, uh, the bodies. There we go. Do we want to do party heal one to two? Yeah. A momentary abatement. That did not help as much as I was hoping for. Ow. I'm gonna have to get him the heal, heal move. Be gone, fiend. Okay. Uh, let's see. So use him. With his divine benefit, which does heal me. Good. Probably would have used it with one of the other characters, but still. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna get out of here. Never played a game with mods, to be honest. Dude, you're missing out. Uh, Fallout 4, uh, Fallout New Vegas, pretty much any of the um, any of the Bethesda games uh, In Radiance, that may have we mods victory. are absolutely enhanced by having mods installed. I think kind Finding of bar none. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I'm trying to think of other immediate examples of games that are amazing with uh, with mods. Um, RimWorld. RimWorld 100% is a uh, is a game that is drastically improved by mods. Oh, Crusader's Bulwark lasts the full battle now. Oh, that is helpful. FTL. I actually haven't really played much of the uh, FTL mod set. I tried, was it the Captain's mod? But I didn't care for it as much as I thought I was going to. Uh, let's go for the Bone Courtier. He's the only one that can actually do lasting harm to me. Okay. You do stress heal. No. Go for that arbalist. Take him out. The wounds war of friend. war can oh. be healed, but never hidden. What other games have I played with mod mods? Factorio has some pretty good mods. Stardew Valley has some pretty good mods. I mean, in general, look at Nexus mods, and pretty much anything that's on that list baseline is going to have uh, some good and worthy mods along the way. Uh, as funny as it sounds, actually, uh, Human Fall Flat has a couple of mods that Durf has made for it, and they're actually really fun. Uh, Terraria. Yep, Terraria is an a absolute 100% use mods on that one kind of game. Uh, let's see, Witcher. I actually haven't really messed around with any of the Witcher mods. Uh, let's see, Incision. 
kill him. Nope. Party's probably not going to get uh, particularly injured here. Well, I tried. Or not injured, the stress. Well, never mind. I was hoping to use this opportunity to de-stress. Turns out that was stupid. Lead the skeletons. Uh, oddly enough... Oh, wait, no, it's Blight that they're... Oh. For whatever reason, I was under the impression that the skeletons were, uh... Uh... The skeletons were resistant to blight. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. Well, life is good. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, my healer is losing a shit, which is kind of a problem. Okay. Well, we get some money. Oh, let's see. Move resist minus speed. Don't really care too much about that. And what kind of horror horrors does everybody pick up? So a germaphobe, not that big of a deal. Anemic, yeah. Bad healer. <laughs> On Dismas? The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly. And a curse upon us all. Did you wonder really think you could bleed them? No, not really. But for whatever reason, I was the just kind of... The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. I was under the uh, incorrect assumption. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Fresh so we have eggs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Okay, so we got some of those. Still got to complete more quests to unlock the rest of these, though. So what's up with Reynold? God-fearing kleptomaniac. He's not stressed at all. Really, the problem is Grimal. Ascetic gambler will only gamble. Oh, interesting. Ascetic. Word reconstruction to and from skill. Minus 20% healing received. Well, it's fine. Chances are I'm not going to be pairing those together anyway. Okay. I guess we could do... I should probably have Grimalt gamble. I don't wanna. Oh, let's see. So no 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 no. We wanna go to we wanna go to the tavern. Oh, pricey. So pricey right off the bat. Let's see if I can upgrade it all. Stress recovery. Strong drink, a game of chance, and companionship. The rush of life. Okay. Well, she's already a gambler. That's not that big of a deal. At least she's a skilled gambler. Oh, she is a skilled gambler. All right. That actually kind of works. We'll see if I can make some money. Uh, let's see. So we'll have to do a run without a healer for once, which is never a good feeling. Okay, stagecoach. Available heroes to three. Uh, Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Okay, so now now we'll find four people here instead of the usual two. Uh, let's see. So we've got some stuff to do. We'll make this tough. I don't want to go to the farmstead. I might be okay with it. Um, but it could be a problem. Now, we could actually try going to medium already, but I think that'd be a mistake. 100% of room battles or 90% of rooms. I guess let's see what we have. Extra damage to melee skills, reduced dodge, or musketeer, extra crit. I think I'm just going to do 100% of rune battles. Um, let's see, do we want mustle? What does mustle have? Uppercut, come hither, collect bounty, and flashbang. So you could actually be in the third. What does the pound have? He does have a heal, which might actually be... He has multiple heals. <laughs> oh, we could do that. Uh, 
Alright, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. See, farmstead was a little nasty, granting it was rolling three level zeros. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until I, I have the ability to upgrade first. Uh let's see. So I'm I'm gonna try sending this group in. Using Crusader as your healer seems like sadness. It does, honestly. Um I just, I'm not entirely sure if I want to do anything else. Because I could, I mean, I could send Mustel. He does do damage. I guess really, let's take a look at the range on Dismas. So Dismas can fire... Uh... Yeah, if we had like, uh... We could slice or something, this would be easier. I guess we could just put him in the back. Problem is, um, Plague Knight could only toss grenades. Yeah, let's let's do that instead. And we'll just bring all of the food. Oh. For whatever reason we start with these two. Not sure why. Okay. And we'll just do twelve torches. I don't know. Let's see. Get rid of Raynault. Oh, uh, you know I could. I think I'm locked in, at least for now. I'm not entirely sure how I go back. Oh, that's how I go back. Uh, let's let's take a look at Raynault versus Vapont. So Vapont does not have the AOE. He does have Smite, Bulwark of Faith, and he could just sit around healing from the front. Yeah, sure. Let's let's bring Vapont for now. I don't like his colors. We don't want two Ferrom Knights. Let's go with that one, at least for now. Oh, Plague Doc gives Anti-Venom and Vestal Holy Juice. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, we'll just bring two keys. I think this is fine. We barely get bleeded. I'll grab one bandage. This team should be fine. And yeah, Reynald is a kleptomaniac. Yeah. No, that is that is good. That is a good point. He's not upgraded at all. The fiends must be driven back. What? And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? These guys come pre-stressed out. That's dumb. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Oh, journal page. I believe I have a mod that actually makes it so journal pages automatically are shipped back. Oof. Okay. I'm not entirely sure if uh, that's actually going to be the case on this one. We'll see. Anyway, stun the spider, stun the spider! Not like we can do much else. Okay, Grape Shot Blast. Oh, that actually does quite a bunch of damage to them. Now we have Collect Bounty, Uppercut, Flashbang. Shuffle Single? Nah. We do have more stuns, but honestly, let's just hit the thing. Back Should kill the it. Pit. Executed and with yeah. impunity. Vapont is not going to be a good healer, necessarily. Uh, let's see. But that'll be fine. Let's just send the pond in. Oh, speaking of, I was gonna... Can I rename him? Nope, can't rename him until we're out of battle. Well, that's fine. I could uppercut it. Uppercut! No, I missed completely. In retrospect, trying to Another uppercut him was a bad move. Cleansed from our lands. Luckily, I'm fine. Okay, the pond, you get to be. We'll call him Shovel Knight for now. I'll probably keep it this way. Oh, do we have a more blue skin that I can roll? That's probably about as shovel knighty as we're gonna get. At least for now. Let's see. Anything over here? Better rain all. Nope. I said I was gonna have a shovel knight. We're having a shovel knight. I'm honestly actually kind of surprised there are not more, um... I'm kind of surprised there aren't more, uh skins that people have made. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. 
I'll, I'll see if I can get some extra skins so we have uh, a bunch of unique characters across the board. Let's stun him first. I'd do the play grenade, but who knows? Okay, come hither. Damn it. Who have? I have open vein. We probably want to just... Well... No, I'm going to aim for the brigand fusilier, see if I can kill him. Let's see, the bookcase. I don't want to... The bookcase is not worth it. If I skip something, it's on purpose. Like, to a decent degree, I know what I'm doing in this game. There's the bleed. That'll hurt. Okay. Confidence Just surges kill the as the enemy crumbles. Okay, that's a good. That's a good feeling. But no, the uh, the bookcase. If you guys saw, uh, ooh, ooh, that's bleed for everybody. Uh, let's see. We have a flashbang. Flashbang. This guy. If it works, nope. Ah, but we got him with the stun. Close enough. Um. If you notice as we go by, some of them might have a symbol on them. That usually means what you have to do to interact with and uh, gain the benefit from. And specifically, uh, the bookcase just is is shitty. There there are no there are no benefits to the bookcase, at least in my general experience. As the fiend falls, well, that helps. A faint hope blossoms. This bleed. I guess isn't really that hurty, but still, you can't do any more. Oh, we don't even have mark target. Well, luckily he does fine, fine amounts of damage anyway, so I'm not, I'm not feeling too bad. Uh, do we do a battle heal? Nah, let's just kill the guy. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless. Inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. But yeah, so if you notice, there's a uh, there's a stress symbol above the bookshelf. It more or less means it's filled with eldritch uh, readings and nothing else. And it'll just make your people go cuckoo. Can the map from bookcase show a secret room? I don't think so. It might. I totally even... I, I totally forgot about secret rooms, to be honest. I don't remember how to find them. The light, the promise of safety. And I honestly, I don't think there's a way to find them. Oh, there's a way to find out where they are, but I don't remember where. Eh, it's fine. Random scouting reveals Ancient them. Okay. Traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. Great is empty. Peace. If I remember right, it's actually best to generally go for the medium dungeons, now that I'm thinking about it. They run longer, and they're kind of more expensive initially, um, but they also tend to, uh, they also tend to, well, you can use your, uh, you can use your resting skills to de-stress and whatnot. I forgot about that bit. Uh, let's do Grape Shot on this one. Or let's guarantee that one of them is going to die. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just go Be for gone, camp. It's fiend. fine. Okay. Camp stuff helps with scouting chance. How quickly level. the tide turns. My main problem is just the uh, the stress that my guys have. Another one falls. Let's see. I could play grenade him. He's not stunned. He doesn't have full stun resistance. We come together. A little bit of damage. Bring him up. Okay, he's unstunned. I'm gonna have to heal him now. Even if it's like minor. So chances are he's not gonna swing at me. Alright, come on. You can go faster than the Skelebones. I believe in you. There we go. Onslaught. Destroy them all. Hey, money. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, admittedly, I don't care about the uh, bounty hunter as much. Like, if he if he ends up dying, he ends up dying. 
Is is that the map? I it said we we had a map and then it kind of like oh okay, there we go. Oh, two fights left. That's a good sign. And yeah, no secret areas. But then again, I don't I don't remember, but I don't think you find a whole lot of interesting secret areas until like you start getting into the later dungeons and the later difficulty levels. I could be wrong on that one. Okay, stun the spider. Nope. Did not stun spider. Did not... No. Let's see, I could do grape shot blast. We could probably just kill. Damage 5 to 9. Never mind. Nothing. Come on! Their formation is broken. Maintain well, the offensive. We got one. Yeah, the RNG, the troll engine in this game, always get ow. Always will get to me. It's just like, oh hey, uh. You know, this'll this'll be a reasonably easy fight. No. Nope. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, usually I start stacking a bunch of accessories uh, that that boost accuracy if I can. This expedition at least promises success. It's not always a guarantee uh, that I can get them that early on, though. So we're going to be kind of struggling with it. I also tend to prefer the the like more reaction the reactionary moves if i remember right there was like a there was like a repost build that i i made into something kind of magic Let's see 90% okay there we go like i could more or less plow through most things i think also a marking build kind of solves the problem cuz that has a a big uh a big accuracy boost as well stun the guys in the back keep them down there we go. Okay, do we do... I could go for this guy, or at this point a Grape Shot Blast seems reasonable. Make sure the frontliners can kill these guys. There we go. That's a good feeling. One thing I will admit, the lack of Reynald means we don't have the, uh, the hit, hit the front two people move. That move is really good. His accuracy kind of sucks, but I, I've never once regretted using it. Let me see. Uh, let's see. So, the bleed is pointless. Let's go for the bone Bonesley if I can get him. Can I get him? Might be able to get him. No. Well. I don't entirely know. Oh, that also marks people. I didn't realize uh, that would mark people. Oh, he's dead. All right. Uh, let's see. There's no point in the play grenade. Stun him some more. Nope. Never mind. No stuns for that guy. Unfortunately, uh, we have to crawl through the uh, the initial couple of. Do uppercut. I could just do flashbang. Shuffles him forward. Perfect. And now I can just wail on him. Okay, so we get sacrilegious tone. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So extra healing done if in position four. Extra healing done versus unholy. Crits receive chance plus eight percent when not in position four. Interesting. I think I might go with that. So the weakness of one soul can be found in their beliefs. Oh, wait, hold on. But extra bleed to resist, extra dodge versus unholy, extra food consumed when camping can't be guarded. Interesting. I think I'll keep it anyway. Wow, okay, that was not worth anything. But that's fine. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim Funny. what is ours. 
Money. I'm faster. I don't remember. Is there a way to skip past that? Uh, I guess you can just hit that. It's once he stops talking. The subtitles were interfering. Okay, so nervous... Ner nervous bleeder. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Hard skinned. Okay, that's kind of helpful. Anaphobia. Unyielding. Another skilled gambler. All right. Though long years may seek to separate them, action and consequence will invariably have their dreadful reunion. Okay, so Grimalt gained 2,000 gold while gambling and re recovered 48 stress. Awesome. Um, can you lock down buffs? I don't remember if you can or not. Okay, well, let's see, let's see what new people, okay. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. So, what's the exact event? So, Maddening Wine, new, new courtyard quest available. We'll leave that for later. Okay, so, we have a Seraph, so that's one of the modded classes, let's grab that. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. I guess we'll grab all of them for now. Oh, let's see, what else can we do? I could increase the that, but no, 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 no. We wanna, we wanna look at these. Are these open? Fine. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Okay, so we need to upgrade the blacksmith to get any of these, and that's we don't have the parts for that. Okay, what about the make guild? No mistake. Dismiss. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. Okay, so it's a bit pricey, but I can unlock some new moves if I want to. Let's take a look at uh, Musart. So this is a Seraph. It's one of the um, modded classes I've picked up. It looks like they're kind of a tank. So obsessed with cleanliness, reduced weapon upgrade cost. Cool. So melee damage versus marks consume mark. Also damage versus mark. Armor piercing. Also extra torch. Valid below 33% HP. Vengeance. Damage versus marked. Consume mark. Activates repo repost. Can't be guarded. Breaks guard. Visage. So it stuns the first two, but it stresses everybody else out. Guard ally. Clear horror. Cauterize and brand. Bypasses stealth, D stealth, mark target, torch five. Okay, so she's a uh She's a uh a tank. It's kind of like a, a mix between the um man at arms and the the bounty hunter, I think. Not necessarily a bad character. Uh let's see, what can I make them look like? Not much, just kind of freaky no matter what you do. Okay. Let's see, if religious, heal 15%. If not religious, hurt. Oh, oh, that's scary. 